this is a demonstration of the uh, Kipon uh, tilt adapter uh, with the Nikon or Nikon 50 mm f uh, 1.4 lens. So the adapter is uh, uh, tilted to the sideways, to the left ways, and it turned uh, completely upright down. So this way the focal plane is practically set to uh, vertical. So when I turn the lens, the focus ring, uh, then you can see now the deer is in focus. Now I turn it backwards and now the guy with the pipe uh, is in focus and then when I turn it to the left uh, and I tap um, the telephone post is uh, in focus and uh, guy here so therefore the focus plane is uh, uh, now I fully turn uh, to the, I guess this is the infinity, yes, this is at infinity. And when I just turn first the telephone post, telephone box, and then the jar, and then the deer. So this way the focus plane is uh, uh, moving from left to right hand side. So this is the one of the application of uh, this uh, tilting photography. Now I start recording on the camera. Before starting, let me just change it back to infinity. Okay, now it's, now I start recording. Okay, recording is started. And now I slightly start turning the focus to the near distance and you can see nicely how it changed from left to right. Now back. If we want to make sure the deer is in focus, you see, I can gently tap uh, on the screen of the um, uh, Sony Alpha 5100. It has an excellent touch screen. I simply jump out of the uh, touch screen and I show how it changes. Now the focus peaking red dots are coming from the right hand side and then passing away to the uh, left hand side and then we can see how the little guy is uh, getting into focus and now we are at infinity And now I simply stop recording. Uh, when the lens is not tilted, uh, you can see the focal plane is on the same level both for the deer, the jar and the telephone box since for this experiment I uh, set the focus to the same uh, I set, uh, I positioned all the three objects on the same uh, distance so the aperture now is at uh, it's one dot Four. Let me just change it to 
and give some more light okay so now the uh, aperture is 5.6 Let me just enable auto ISO with some um, exposure compensation of minus 0 0.7. Okay, so when I just gently tap, yeah, uh, this is. Um, how can uh, how I can uh, make sure uh, the focus is set so I start recording so the lens now is at uh, 5.6 and uh, this is the recording at 5.6 now I'm changing the lens while recording over to one dot four of course it is overexposed heavily so this is one uh, dot four and now I am tilting I Okay, I set the focus to the jar and now to the deer, to the jar and to the telephone box again. Let's just make sure the focus is set perfectly fine. Again, back the to the normal position and now I am turning the the adapter to the horizontal uh, normal position and see how it works when I uh, shift so let's see what the camera does as you can see now the focus is set to the bottom of the uh, screen and now I turning the lens to the left to and then the focus is shifting towards the top and now the focus point is on the very top part of the screen Yes, so practically this is tilt photography with uh, and tilt videography with this lens. Uh, you may wonder uh, why I don't use the keep on tilt shift adapter. The shift uh, adapter, the tilt shift adapter is much more expensive and I realize that the shift shifting the lens uh, is can produce quite bad quality uh, still images and I decided that if I really want to have uh, shift photography I'd simply buy a dedicated uh, shift lens. 